Hello. As you know, traditions are incredibly important to us here at Hutchison. And this year, our traditions have often felt different and looked different. Today is no exception, and I truly wish we were gathering together in the theater for this special chapel. Hi, I'm Emily Grace Cater. I am the sophomore representative for the Chapel Council, and this is the presentation of Madonna. For more than 40 years, Hutchison's graduating class has celebrated the character and integrity of a classmate by selecting her for the portrayal of the Madonna in the Madonna Tableau during the Hutchison Christmas Chapel. The senior selected is recognized for her good character and moral strength worthy of such an honor. Established as the White Christmas Program under the direction of Miss Julia Jameson in 1954, the Christmas Program and the Madonna have remained a Hutchison tradition, celebrating integrity and character in all Hutchison girls. Marianne Stokes painted Madonna and Child using tempera paint on a panel of wood between 1907 and 1908. Marianne Stokes, born in Austria, 1855, is an artist who lived her adult professional life in Victorian England. Her work is influenced by the British pre-Raphaelite movement of the 19th century, which emphasizes sincerity in religious works, beautiful color, and depth of feeling. In the image, you can notice the thorns surrounding the Madonna's head alluding to the crown of thorns that Jesus would wear when he was crucified, quote, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head, end quote, John 19, 2. Marianne Stokes died in 1927. This image was chosen as a royal mail stamp in 2005. A reading from the book of Luke. In the sixth month, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you're going to give him the name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. I'm the Lord's servant, answered Mary. May it be me as you have said. Then the angel left her. A reading from the book of Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, 
to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. I wish you and your families the healthiest, happiest, and safest holiday season. 
Enjoy the break and I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Almighty God, be with the Hutchinson community as we begin another day of teaching and learning. Keep us ever mindful of the honor of our calling so that we act with integrity. Turn our eyes inward to focus on the Spirit and outward to see our obligations in the world and bring us to the end of this day with a sense of fulfillment in our test well done. Amen.